Of course it stops. Of course the it, it stops. Alright, alright. In case you guys don't know, I love Mega Godzilla's design. And two. I really do love the red that's around him. It's kind of giving the 2014 vibe since he has the red around him. So what I'm getting is this film is a mix between King of the Monsters and Kong Skull Island. But so which is why we have the blue and, and the orange color grading. But the way they're showing Mega the Godzilla here, it looks like he's going to be fully red, like 2014. So <clears throat> thank you so much for sticking straight to the source material instead of just effing it up with some freaking crunchy and things so yeah I don't even know if I'm gonna react I want to react to this new trailer when it comes out because honestly honestly this is completely nuts it's completely BS at this point. They're showing his they're showing his design off. And another thing I want to talk about is <clears throat> some of the new information that comes out about Godzilla vs Kong is first of all the film was set five years after King and the Monsters. Despite the fact that King of the Monsters set five years after 20 birth on oh, no. Despite the fact that 2014 set five years before King of the Monsters. <clears throat> so apparently Godzilla movies like to set five years after each other. So, yeah. Honestly, I don't know what on earth. Were they on when they approved this thing? When they uh, showed this off? The marketing team just needs to be addressed immediately. I'm not saying they should be fired, but they just need to be addressed. Clearly, I can't trust Legendary anymore when it comes to marketing. Because we all know this is going to spoil their entire freaking movie. Like, what the hell? I don't know what they were on. I like the lightning that's coming out of him. That's coming out of Mega Godzilla. I don't know if that's just the video. Hold on. I'm on. Never mind. It is just a video. I'm trying to make it look badass. But the actual uh, Mega Godzilla, he looks honestly amazing. Especially during this pose. I really like it. To me, I think Mega Godzilla is not going to be that terrifying, but he's still going to be, like, terrifying. He's not, like, terrifying as King Ghidorah and King of the Monsters, but on the scale of, like, the Mutos. I think he's going to be that, or at least a little bit higher. So, yeah. Also... The claws look better on this than they did before because before they just looked like they were like sticking out, like sticking out. It looks like they were gonna do anything, but no. From the looks of this, they look like they're. Those actually look like Mega Godzilla's hands. The claws actually look miles better. So honestly, this is probably the best Mega Godzilla design I've seen since Ready Player One. Honestly, Ready Player. Freaking one. And honestly, I honestly we do know his abilities that he might suck rate some radiation out of Titan, so I can't wait to see how much of a awesome this is gonna be. I can't risk getting this channel demonetized, so I say people still do it though, but I'm gonna keep it a bit safer. I'm gonna start full on doing it later on it, later down the line on this channel. So, yeah. Honestly, Mega Godzilla is a full on beast. He looks like a full on beast mode on this, doing this pose. Although it's just the perspective of this pose, but he looks really clean. And this is a shirt, by the way. 
So yeah, thank you Legendary for letting everyone know that Oh, there's a new Godzilla film coming out Even though they don't know that it's actually Godzilla vs. Kong So maybe they think that No, actually everyone knows Godzilla vs. Kong But what nobody knows about Godzilla vs. What if there's people out there that didn't know about Godzilla vs. Kong Yet you released this shirt And now everyone thinks that it's gonna be another Godzilla film and but in reality it's got it with his Kong. So <clears throat> yeah. So honestly, yeah, fuck this. Fuck it. I just gonna release I'm just gonna either wait until the new trailer comes out. And let's see if this let's see if they spoil him. spoil Mega Godzilla. I can't even talk right guys. I'm sorry, but this just makes me mad. Like don't get me wrong. I love his Mega Godzilla. I love Mega Godzilla design, but I don't know why. Wait a second. Maybe that's not his design. Is it red? Maybe it's just that it's like pink, like like uh color green, just like twenty percent, like all the smokers around. Maybe that's maybe that's what they're doing here. So maybe his full on design will actually look great. Look like that. So yeah. Mega Godzilla looks good. He looks really good. His face. He looks. His face is literally Godzilla's face, but just put metal around. That's what it looks like here. That's that is literally what it looks like here. So yeah, honestly, let's huh, just wait until his new trailer comes out. I'm out, God damn it. Goodbye. See see y'all in the next one. Oh, no, 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 not the next one. Hold on, there's a couple of more things I need to say. Uh, yeah, there's also gonna be daytime battles, which dang freaking god, and we already knew it since the trailers. Uh, hold on, guys, wait a minute. There's new information Ghidorah still hunts the film. That does not mean we're gonna see King Ghidorah or Mecha King Ghidorah in this film. That's just Ghidorah's brain and Mega Godzilla, so which is why Godzilla is kind of going after the Mega Godzilla. So yeah, evil version of Monarch called Apex doing shady experiment. Mhm. Mm so I'm assuming they're working working on Mega Godzilla. So yeah, threatens the surface, and it won't cut to the humans. For large chunks of the film. So, thank God. It won't cut. This is official information. This is not rumors. This is actually real. So, expect this going into the theater. So, yeah. That's all I got to say. So, 